For a long time, SpaceX has been silent, but deep down, we knew something has been cooking. Elon Musk, the richest person in the world, is after something huge. And now the ice has been broken because the 2023 SpaceX update is finally here. Are you excited about the next level roadmap of our space technology? Then stay tuned till the end of the video as we have a lot of exciting things for you. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If we're meeting for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from us. Without any further ado, let's start. First and foremost, according to CEO Elon Musk, SpaceX plans to conduct up to 100 launches in 2023 while continuing to break records in 2022. Elon Musk is currently striving for a milestone that has never been accomplished after recently smashing his own record for annual launches. SpaceX has won a ton of honors since it was established in 2008 by serial entrepreneur Elon Musk. In that year, the company became the first privately funded organization to launch a payload into Earth orbit. Subsequently, the company distinguished itself by successfully delivering unmanned cargo vehicles to the International Space Station, and in 2017, it was given a NASA contract for the transportation of astronauts. SpaceX conducted 20 launches in the first half of the year, which represents an unexpected 50% increase in cadence over 2020. SpaceX experienced two odd pauses in the second part of the year that lasted about two months each. However, in the last two months, SpaceX successfully conducted 11 launches, showing a further increase in launch cadence of more than 50% compared to the first half of the year. The tycoon tweeted that his aerospace company would strive for 100 orbital launches in 2019, making it the first company in the world to achieve it. SpaceX seems to have advanced once more, increasing its launch frequency all year long. SpaceX accomplished 27 Falcon 9 launches in the first half of the year, almost breaking its 31 launch record from 2021 in half the time and exhibiting a yearly cadence of up to 54 launches every year. After SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched on August 31st, carrying 46 Starlink satellites in the company's 39th flight of the year, Musk revealed this on Twitter. Musk tweeted, yeah, aiming for up to 100 flights next year, in response to claims that SpaceX planned to conduct 100 flights in 2023. The Big Falcon rocket, often known as the Big F rocket, is being developed by SpaceX primarily to aid human settlement on Mars and other planets in the solar system. Since 2002, Musk has asserted that the primary purpose he founded SpaceX was to aid in the evolution of mankind into a multi-planet species. A lot of additional work will also be done by the BFR. According to SpaceX, the vehicle will eventually carry out all of the company's tasks, including satellite launches, space debris cleanup, and point-to-point -point passenger flights on Earth. No family of rockets has ever carried out more than 61 successful launches in a single year in the history of orbital spaceflight. Even for SpaceX, which just completed its 50th successful Falcon 9 launch in a little over a year, Musk's suggested cadence target is unprecedented and would present an extraordinary challenge. Though it might appear impossible, it is not. According to Musk, SpaceX is now undertaking orbital launches nearly every five days after breaking the record for the most launches in a year, 31 established in 2021. At this rate, the business may successfully complete 60 launches this year, which was Musk's goal when he made the announcement in March. He also stated that up to 4,200 more Starlink satellites might be launched into orbit in the upcoming 18 months. Furthermore, Starship and its crew will visit the moon, fly within 200 kilometers of its surface, and make a full orbit of the moon before safely returning to Earth. This mission is scheduled to launch after the inaugural flights of Starship and Dear Moon for the Polaris program. The Starship is being developed by SpaceX, and it recently ran a test with all 14 engines. By the end of this year, or the start of 2023, the business hopes to launch Starship for the first time. SpaceX will supply a second crewed landing demonstration flight for the Artemis IV mission in 2027 as part of the New Deal. And it'll be necessary to transfer crew and a sizable amount of goods securely and cost-effectively to sustain long-term human exploration on the moon. It is a great deal to be part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to bring back settlers to the moon and usher in a new era of space exploration. SpaceX will support a second human landing demonstration as part of NASA's Artemis IV mission. SpaceX was originally chosen to develop a lunar lander capable of carrying astronauts between lunar orbit and the surface of the moon as part of NASA's Artemis III mission. According to SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, a Japanese billionaire and a group of artists will travel to the moon as soon as 2023, making them the first private individuals to travel beyond low Earth orbit. 
Yusaku Mizawa, the creator of the massive Japanese e-commerce company Zozo and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, made the announcement during a webcast. Mizawa has signed up to fly around the moon mission aboard the BFR spaceship rocket combination. The mission, which will orbit the moon but not set foot there, might be prepared to launch in just five years. He emphasized that the debut date of 2023 is not guaranteed. Next year, SpaceX plans to conduct quick hopper tests, and in the upcoming time, it wants to conduct high-altitude, high-speed flights. According to Musk, the first voyage to Earth orbit might take place in two to three years if the testing is successful. Before boarding Mizawa and the artists, SpaceX will conduct a series of unmanned test flights. SpaceX will need to install 360-degree cameras inside and outside of the BFR that support full field-of-view streaming, but it's still unclear how VR technology will develop between now and 2023. The streams may end up supporting more features, such as photogrammetry, which is the process of rendering 3D objects in real-time based on camera input. By then, VR headset resolution, battery life, and the capacity to operate independently of a computer ought to have all improved. SpaceX will also show that Starship can dock with Gateway, a tiny space station that'll circle the moon to support both lunar and deep space exploration, house four crew members, and supply additional supplies, equipment, and science payloads required for the lengthy surface study. SpaceX launched six times in July and another six times in August, maintaining an annualized cadence of 72 launches per year for two full months, as opposed to keeping up that already amazing rate in the second half of the year. Right now, you could call that an anomaly. However, it can probably be said that the Falcon 9 launch cadence has changed if SpaceX can complete the remaining six planned launches. SpaceX would need to find a means to launch eight times on average each month to reach 100 Falcon launches in 2023. An increase of 33% from the six launches per month, the business now seems to be more than content with. SpaceX's fleet of Falcon launch pads and recovery ships, in particular the drone ship landing platforms, appear to be capable of accomplishing that challenging cadence goal probably as a result of deliberate planning and over-engineering done years before the reward. The Starlink constellation, which currently has over 2,800 active satellites, offers low latency and high-speed internet in more than 30 nations. Notably, Starlink has been the primary customer for SpaceX's Falcon 9 launches. Nonetheless, the corporation has also carried out important missions including Crew 4 on April 27th and South Korea's Maiden Moon mission on August 5th. Due to Royal Caribbean's recent adoption of SpaceX's satellite internet technology across its fleet, SpaceX still has a lot of work to do in this area. On all of its Royal Caribbean International, Celebrity Cruises, and Silver Sea Cruises ships, Royal Caribbean said it'll begin adding Starlink internet and the work would be finished by next year. SpaceX has some enormous plans for 2023, including the first orbital launch of its enormous rocket Starship and the astronaut mission Crew-5 for NASA. The Starship is now conducting tests at the Starbase facility in Texas in preparation for its journey around the Earth. In addition to deploying Tesla's fully self-driving FSD capability, Musk recently stated that his top priority for the year is to launch Starship into orbit. Furthermore, the first commercial spacewalk will take place on the Polaris Dawn mission of SpaceX. The trip, which is part of the Polaris program and is funded and led by billionaire Jared Isaacman, will be the first crewed Starship spacecraft. Polaris Dawn, the first of them, was once scheduled for late 2022. The mission has been postponed till no sooner than March 2023 due to several problems, as is typical for rocket launches. So many exciting endeavors are on the way and SpaceX is determined to take our knowledge to the next level. Let's know about your thoughts on the 2023 SpaceX update. That's it for the day, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon 